Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. I'm Amy Boucher Pye, and I call today's reading God's Worker. In a refugee camp in the Middle East, when Reza received a Bible, he came to know and believe in Jesus. His first prayer in Christ's name was, Use me as your worker. Later, after he left the camp, God answered that prayer when he unexpectedly secured a job with a relief agency, returning to the camp to serve the people he knew and loved. He set up sports clubs, language classes, and legal advice, anything that can give people hope. He sees these programs as a way to serve others and to share God's wisdom and love. When reading his Bible, Reza felt an instant connection with the story of Joseph from Genesis. He noticed how God used Joseph to further his work while he was in prison. Because God was with Joseph, he showed him kindness and granted him favor. The prison warden put Joseph in charge and didn't have to pay attention to matters there because God gave Joseph success in whatever he did. God promises to be with us too. Whether we're facing imprisonment, literal or figurative, hardship, displacement, heartache, or sorrow, we can trust that he'll never leave us. Just as he enabled Reza to serve those in the camp and Joseph to run the prison, he'll stay close to us always. Today's scripture reading is from Genesis chapter 39, verses 19 through 23. When his master heard the story his wife told him, saying, This is how your slave treated me, he burned with anger. Joseph's master took him and put him in prison, the place where the king's prisoners were confined. But while Joseph was there in the prison, the Lord was with him. He showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. So the warden put Joseph in charge of all those held in the prison, and he was made responsible for all that was done there. The warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. Let's pray. Saving God, you never leave us, even when we endure the hardest of circumstances. Please give us hope, no matter what we face, and open our eyes to see you at work in our life. We pray in the holy name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for listening. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.